In this video, I'm going to classify PDEs as hyperbolic, parabolic, or elliptic. So I'll be looking at uh, the following two second order partial differential equations. To classify these uh, two partial differential equations, I'll start by looking at the general form of a second order PDE, which is uh, A multiplied by the second derivative of U with respect to X plus 2B multiplied by the partial derivative of U respect to X plus C multiplied by the second partial derivative with respect to y. To classify this PDE, we only look at uh, the principal part of this one here. So we'll be looking at the coefficients where we have the, the A there, the B, and the C. And then we'll go on and uh, evaluate uh, B squared minus AC. If B squared minus AC is uh, greater than zero, then the PDE is said to be hyperbolic. If b squared minus ac is equal to 0, then the partial differential equation is said to be parabolic. If b squared minus ac is less than 0, then the partial differential equation is said to be elliptic. Now looking at uh, this uh, partial differential equation that we have here and compare it with this general form of a second order partial differential equation, we see that the a there is a 3. For the b, we see that our b there is a 1. For the c, we see that our c is a 5. So we go on and evaluate b squared minus ac. Our b is a 1, so we'll be having 1 minus 3 times 5. 1 minus 3 times 5, that's a minus 14. So minus 14 there is less than 0. So we are having it is of this form b squared minus ac is less than 0. Therefore, this partial differential equation is elliptic. I now go on and look at uh, this uh, partial differential equation, compare it with uh, this general form of a second order partial differential equation, then we will see that uh, A is equals to 4. Our B, we will see that our B is equals to 6. Our C, we will see that C is equals to 9. Then go on and evaluate B squared minus AC. Our B is a 6, so we'll be having 6 squared, so it will be 36, then minus 4 times 9. 4 times 9 gives us a 36, so we'll have 36 minus 36, which gives us a 0. So what we are having there is our B squared minus AC is a 0. So this form here, so we conclude that the partial differential equation is parabolic. So we have those two equations. The other one is elliptic and the other one is parabolic.